Hey, welcome back. Um, okay, this is uh, video number 22, I think, or whatever. Um, okay, look, as, while, while this is all going on, we have to kind of treat ourselves as well as small bit, you know. We can't just um, batten down the hatches and everything else. Look, what I've showed you um, about two, two weeks in total of, between all the videos, is about, when we're finished about 24, 25 videos, and, you know, that uh, equates to about two weeks of kind of dinners and lunches and breakfast and you just mix them around and um, just keep them there, write them down, you have them there in a book and then sit down and plan I think is hugely important, you know, because you know, it's, it's important to know what you're having the next day so you have the stock in and you're not wasting nothing in that way, okay? A nice treat I think is, uh, look at, it might be hard to go out and buy six or seven steaks for a house type thing, you know, talking 40 or 50 euros um, but like I mean, if you want to come along and do a nice steak sandwich, very fast to do, very easy to do, and it stretches out your steak. It's kind of self-contained because you have your onions, your mushrooms, your garlic, your bread, nice bit of salad, maybe a few homemade chips or whatever you want with that. And uh, so I'll just show you how to make a, a nice fast um, steak sandwich. All I've got here, I've got a nice steak. This will actually serve like two. So so rather than you know, if you had eight people for say to look for steaks, go up and buy four steaks and you have your thing. Um, I've a bit of garlic chopped there, I have some mushroom slice, a little onion slice, slice here, and the bread I have, whatever bread you have in the house. If uh, I have ciabatta here, I have a small bit of garlic butter put on it, just split in half. It's um so if you've got a petty pan in the house or you've got a French stick or even a burger bun or whatever you have, you know, don't be gonna just use up whatever you have. And so look it's a nice treat or whatever. So basically all we do is A bit of fat there, take that off. Okay, I kind of if you're getting your butcher to do it for you, get him to cut them thin or whatever. Okay, so that way, then you know, so the cook's faster. Move in there, there, and then cut into strips, cut it at a bit of an angle because the way if you cut, if, if you cut it straight across, you're kind of going with um, the way the sinew is in it. Okay, so if you can cut against the grain. You have a more tender steak sandwich, okay? So basically, that's our steak cut like that. You can get the butcher to do it if you want. It's up to yourself. I have an onion here. I know it's a red chopping board, but it's all going into the pan now right away. Okay? So, I have my steak, I have my onion, I have my bread. I have a little bit of garlic butter on the bread. I have some gar garlic chopped there and some mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't put it in. If you like peppers or chilies, you want to make it a bit hotter, put them in. If there's no hard and fast rule on it, whatever you want to do yourself. But this is a kind of classic uh, Philly steak sandwich. I put a bit of cheese into it in a minute or whatever. Again, all optional. All right, so I'll bring it over here and I'll cook it out for you. Okay, guys, we're over here at the cooker again, like with most of the dishes I do. Um, I have a nice hot pan on here, a little bit of oil on the pan. If you want to use the low-cal spray, that's fine too. Uh, just move your oil around the pan like that. Okay, in with the beef. You can see it sizzling straight away so you're not wasting any time. If you put it in, it's nice to put it in and get a nice bit of colour on it. And it seals the steak and seals in the moisture. Whereas you put that into a cold pan, it sticks to the pan, moisture is released, you know. So, a little bit of cracked black pepper and a little bit of sea salt. And you see, most of my seasons, apart from my soups or my uh, spicy dishes like the enchilada or the, um, the stir fry where they're using spice spice. So if you occasion season the house, cracked black pepper, sea salt, some mixed herbs and um, some uh, Chinese spice spice. Um, you know, you'll season any flavor you want, anything you want, to, uh, whatever way you want to do it. If you like other ones, go and get them. Okay? So this is. You can see the color coming up in that there. Nice 10 pieces of steak. Look at it. I, I, I split the steak there kind of along the, the center and I cut it into strips. Um, I find it's. It works better because it bulks up more, so it does. But if you want to leave your steak in one strip, and um, that's fine, just fry it off and put it into your bread. Okay, in goes that garlic, onions, mushroom. And again, all this is super fast. Do you know, there's no need to be slaving over pots and pans and kind of all that, you know, so 
you know, it's about being organised, about planning. Like, you I mean, the army, the navy, they don't come into work in the, uh, every morning and say, oh, what happened with what today? Like, chefs don't come into the kitchen and say, oh, what happened with what today? They know exactly what they're going to have. They have a plan. We plan a month, uh, we get a, a month's uh, function sheet ahead. So we know what's coming up. We're organised. So you do the same at home. Sit down on the Monday and say, okay, I have four for dinner on Tuesday. What are we cooking? Um, okay, we're cooking chicken enchiladas. Okay, I need two breasts of chicken for four enchiladas. You know, so see, treat it like a military exercise. Get up in the morning, get stuff organised, plan your day, get your bit of exercise in, get your walks in, bit of homework in. You know, if you want to pick up a musical instrument that's going to be sitting in the back of the closet the last couple of years, get a nap on your phone, learn to play guitar, and you know, some good. Let's be positive to all this, okay? So basically, that there is my steak sandwich ready to go into the bread, okay? Okay, snuck down in there and I still have more here to do another one, okay? So, this that. I like to put the cheese on mine. So, I have a bit of mozzarella there that I have you use up in the cold room. I love blue cheese. If I have blue cheese, if you have any cheese in the cold room left over and you want to use up, it's a great way to use them up, okay? And it's, again, it's about wasting nothing. Don't let anything go off. Don't let it, like, I mean, if your bread is going, uh, getting a bit hard and a bit stale, liquidize it. Put it into your freezer. Um, so, what I'm going to do this now, I'm just going to put it in, into the oven for about two to three minutes just to melt the cheese and get a nice coating on top. And again, you see how fast that was, six or seven minutes, beautiful steak sandwich, and away you go. Okay guys, the oven just rang off, the steak sandwich is in there for approximately about two minutes, just to melt the cheese. So basically we cut our meat, cut it. If you have everything organised, you know where your onions are, you know where your mushrooms are, you know, and have everything organised before you start cooking. Once you start cooking then, everything's at hand, and you'll fly through it, okay? And the second time you'll be fast, and the third time you do it, you'll do it with your eyes closed, okay? So basically we... Got all our prep done, we fried it off, we put it into our bread, we put a bit of cheese on it, we put it into the oven, two minutes in the oven, and out it comes. Okay, as you can see, absolutely gorgeous. Steak sandwich, get a small bit of salad, and whatever is wrong with it, if you want to make a small bit of pepper sauce or whatever. Um, but like, I mean, that is super treat after a stressful, busy week. If you were that on a Saturday evening, and the kids had their little tortilla pizzas like I made yesterday or whatever, you know, so it's all about eating fresh, eating well, eating healthy, and using up everything in your cold room. If you want a few chilies on top of that, a few gherkins, whatever you want, whatever you like yourself, you know, just make it tasty. You know, like you ring in for a uh, takeaway or whatever, you know, and, you know, you have no control kind of really over what they put into it type thing. You know, they put in what they put in. You know, you can ask for extra this and extra that. When you do it yourself at home, you put in exactly what you want, what exactly you like. Okay? Enjoy, guys.